Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we have the May Ipsy Glam Bag X. So let's get into it and find out what's in this season's. show you the back of this because of course my label is on the front very rookie move for ipsy i'm surprised to see it happen but this is the glam bag x ipsy offers three products there's the original which is 12 dollars and has five deluxe samples sometimes full-size products the ipsy plus which comes out monthly also and it is five products but they are full size and it is 25 dollars and once every three months, and they've gone on off months. Our first one was February, now this one is May, so it's every third month. You can turn your Ipsy Plus. I think if you only have the regular Ipsy, you can also do that, but if you have the Plus, they turn your Plus into this Ultimate. It makes it $55 instead of 25, but you get eight full-size products. And it's the Glam X because each time they do it, it's curated with somebody. The first time, they did it with Patrick Ta. This time, it was done with Khloe Kardashian. Just like the other Ipsy products, we get to go in and make some choice. I think we got three choices in this. I'm really hoping I remember what mine were. And when we get it open, <laughs> this is what we have. It is a box of goodies. So let's see what I've got. And we received again this quarter, just like we got last quarter. And I'm so happy because it's like a newspaper. It is the Glam Bag X. And I think it tells us about all of the options of everything that you could have received in this Glam Bag X. Not just what you chose and what they gave to you, but <laughs> trying to turn the page here, but everything that could have been in it. So I can read to you a little bit about each of the products. And the back one seems to have a little eye tutorial and ooh, an Ipsy quiz. Interesting, we'll look at that. Okay, first out of the box, and that was right on top, is the Olaplex number zero. Interesting way to put it, but Olaplex zero. I got this because I love the Olaplex products. I have used three, four, five, and six. Yeah, I think just those four. And this is the Intensive Bond Building Hair Treatment. It primes, repairs, strengthens, and protects all hair types. And this was a full size. And that is what it looks like. I don't think there's any point in cutting that. Oh, it is too. <laughs> it's not sealed. I was gonna say, I don't think there's any point. It's just it's just, see how, at the very tip how it's making, it's just a liquid. Let's see what our newspaper tells us about it. It says at the top of this, that this is based on our beauty quiz preferences. Chloe curated five of these products just for you. If by chance you have any interest in Ipsy, I will put my link below that will just take you right on over to the site. Okay, this is in that huge picture. We have it right there and it says it's number seven, Olaplex number zero, intensive bond building treatment, $28 value. Beloved by hair pros, this at-home treatment rebuilds broken bonds to give strands their strength back. I have been having so much breakage in here. I mean, I know you guys have heard me talk about in the past, but lately, I mean, look, there's some that it's, that's how long it is. That That's crazy. Because, so I am really hoping that this helps me with that. So what you do is you put this on dry hair and you saturate it from root to tip and you leave it for 10 minutes. And then you apply some number three and that's another mask and you leave it on for 10 minutes. And then you get in the shower and you rinse it out and then you put shampoo and condition, which that's what four and five are. And then I also have a number six, which is, I can only use that down here because it's really thick. It's kind of like a hair cream that supposedly helps with all of this. But whenever I do my hair with this, I really think it's making a difference. I think I have a lot less breakage than I used to. I think it's making a difference. I was very happy. That is $28 toward my 55 that I absolutely would have just purchased. So that's a good deal. Next, and this was chosen for me. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen in Blonde. That is interesting that they chose Blonde for me with my profile because <laughs> We will swatch this and see, maybe it runs dark and they thought that as a medium brown, I needed a blonde. If not, I am putting together, and I'll tell you more about it when I get to one of my other choices, but I have a niece that's getting married in November and we've been talking about eyeshadows, eyeliners, those kinds of things. And she, well, no, she's not a blonde now. I was gonna say she's a blonde, but she's not a blonde these days. Anyway, brow pen. Oh, it's felt tip. Okay, well, we have to try this. Oh, that's a nice taupey color. You know, can you guys see? I 
don't hate that. I know my brows look darker than that right now because I'm taping, but on days where I'm just going out there to like go to the grocery store and I don't necessarily want all of that darkness, I think I might like that to just fill in. I am losing some of my brows. And this, to kind of fill that in, it might work pretty well and be more subtle. But I don't mind necessarily for my lazy days, we'll call them that, just to have a little extra color. I don't hate it. The paperwork says it is a $22 value. Bold brows are a Chloe signature, and this pen makes it easy. The super fine tip helps create realistic looking brow hairs so you can add detail, definition, and dimension to your arches. Reaching in next, I have a complex culture. And it, it is the Rose Quartz Gua Sha Sculpting Stone. You guys know I have a bajillion of these. I have really been into Gua Sha. I haven't done it as much lately. It was packed in that box nicely, but this is all it is. Oh, no, it's not in here. I was like, it's just this little, but this is just a case for it. And that's kind of fun that it has a case. It must be in here. Oh, it is. So this is just a little cardboard that they've accordioned. And when you open it up, it's in here. It's just a very basic, well, oh, it's very pretty. It has like clearer parts. I'm gonna do that so you can see through the clearer parts. I like that a lot. That is a really, really pretty one. Fits nicely in my hand too. You know what, I might add this to the collection. I was thinking I would pass it along, but since it has a little case and it, it it's not as pink as mine. It's almost just a glossier quartz. I like that. And you can just, and I need to get back into this. I liked it and I really felt like it depuffed me. I don't know long-term anti-aging what it does, but if you, what you do is you wash and dry your face, you put on a serum or an oil. You have to have something on your face so that when you pull this across it, it slips. You don't want to drag your skin. Always put an anchoring finger, put it there at a nice angle and pull back. And you usually do it two or three times and then you can do it just whatever part of it feels good. If you wanted through this area just to do it like that and then when you got up to your cheekbones to sculpt out just again an anchoring finger. I have a video, I'll try and link it here, that shows you how to use these gua shaws in case by chance you got one and you've never used one. The paperwork says it has a $28 value and it says massage your face with this traditional Chinese tool to help minimize puffiness and relieve tension. You can also take that notched part, if you like pull your hair up or if you have short hair, you can take this notched part and very gently, just for the record, all of this gently. You don't ever want to tug, pull, push too hard, but you can do right along your spine in the back, just kind of relaxing. You can do your neck. Again, use a very gentle hand. I'll put the video up. Next, I have a 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster, Illuminator or Rose. And that is what the box looks like. I have seen this. I'm not sure, you know, I probably shouldn't open this because I am not sure that I don't own this. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this closed because I might own this. And as I recall, it has a $135 value. Let's find it. The 111 Rose Gold Radiance Booster, $135. This is Chloe's secret weapon for skin that looks lit from within. It contains rose water and niacinamide to brighten skin, hydrating hyaluronic acid to plump, and light reflecting gold to instantly illuminate your complexion. All right, next out I have, oh, this is heavy. An herbivore, love that brand. It is the Prism AHA and BHA Exfoliating Glow Facial. This is a really nice product, but I have such sensitive skin that I just, I can't use AHAs and BHAs. So I will have to set this aside for someone. The back of it says a glowing facial mask that features a powerful blend of natural AHAs, including lactic, glycolic, and malic acids plus concentrates of natural BHA from willow bark. So yeah, there is not a chance I can use this on my face. It would look like a raspberry. It would turn bright red and I'd have bumps everywhere. It's a gorgeous bottle. See how it's kind of iridescent and pink? It's so pretty, but that's what it looks like. I bet this is another one of my high dollar items. It has a $58 value and it says, this at home treatment is the answer to a pro facial level glow at home. 
Leave it on for 20 minutes and let the AHAs and BHAs work their smoothing, softening, and skin clearing magic. So I will leave this completely sealed, but I will tell you, it's very wet. Look, see the bubble in the bottom? It stays at the top, regardless of how I turn it. It works its way to the top. So it must be very wet in here. Next I have a MAC Lippy. It is the Love Me Lipstick in Bated Breath. Looks like it's gonna be pretty dark. Let's check it out. I don't mind dark colors. I have one today. If you watched my BoxyCharm unboxing, I'm not sure if it was my premium or my base box. I got this purple Be A Bombshell in Devious lip gloss and I said, I know it's purple guys, but purples tend to look good on me because, well, I mean, that didn't mean that to sound arrogant. Purples tend to look good on me. Purple is a good color for me because I am so pink <laughs> that I look better in cool colors than warm colors and I really like it. And I've had it on for a couple of videos now it's not sticky at all and I still have color. Ooh, it's a pretty component. Can you see that it, it kind of ombres purple to black? It's purple out here and then it does to black in the center of both. That is cool. Oh, it's a very dark, very dark color. But like I said, I don't mind that at all. Oh, you know what? It doesn't, it's not as dark as it looks like it's gonna be. It goes on a little more sheer. I like that a lot. Oh. I really like this purple, so I don't think I'm gonna put this on, but I do. Oh, and it has that MAC, you know that sweet scent that the MAC lipsticks have? This has it. And the paperwork says, the perfect pinky nude lip starts with this lipstick. That's kind of true. One swipe treats your pout to a dose of moisture, thanks to argon oil, and coats lips in a weightless, long-lasting pigment and soft satin finish. I, I tend to agree. I anticipated that was gonna be so dark, and I think that is such a wearable color. I like it a lot. You know, I'm an old-fashioned girl. I love a bullet lipstick. Let me know below, what do you like? I really, I want to like all of the matte liquid lips and I wear them, I wear them all the time. But when push comes to shove, I would probably rather apply this a few times during the day and have that nice satiny moisturized lip that you don't have to necessarily put like a lip gloss over but it's just a nice I just I just like the look on my lips and if I didn't say that had a $21 value okay and the next one actually the last two were my choice this is the Manny Me we got the Manny Me coupons in our Allure box a couple of months ago I never did it I went in to do it I did all of the Okay, so careful, the buffer falls out. But that was one of my choices and I thought, oh my gosh, how cute are these? Look at this. That is so, so fun. You know what, I have bare nails. I might do this. I have a party this weekend, so I might do this today. If I do, I will put it over on my Insta when I do it. That is so, so pretty. I love that a lot. Oh look, they've right, left, and then extras. So will I put the flowers at the bottom of my nail or at the tip? Wow, I wish you guys would see this before I will be doing it, but you probably won't. I'm probably gonna do it wrong. I'm just telling you right now. But this was one of my choices and I just thought that the little flowers were so cute. You also get a little pad to clean your nails to strip them first so they stick better. I just thought it would be so, so cute to try. And it says custom fit for you in California. Well. These aren't custom fit because it was part of my box. I can't find it in the magazine, newspaper, anywhere, so it must have been a last minute addition, but as I recall from the Allure box, we got a, I think, $25 credit, but I think most of them were $15 to $20, so that'll give you an idea. And last but not least, and this was also a choice, this was an interesting choice. We could choose between the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance, darn it, I meant to do my eyes in this, and I forgot I actually used and I'll probably talk about this again when I do my BoxyCharm box. I use the olive palette, and I know, you probably can't tell the green. I can tell it in person, but on camera it might not. I'm loving that palette. Back to the point. So when I went in to make my choice, I had the choice between the Anastasia Modern Renaissance and the Patrick Star One Size Palette. And I had watched a couple of people who owned the Patrick Star palette use it. 
and I just knew that wasn't for me. And I, like I told you earlier, I have a niece that's getting married in November, and she asked me what my favorite neutral palettes were, and I said by far one of my favorite neutral palettes was this Modern Renaissance. I also like the Soft Glam palette. And then like two days later, I found out we could choose this in our box. So I already have this palette. I use the heck out of this palette, but I chose it again because I'm gonna send this one to her. Excellent, it is beautiful. I'm gonna take the plastic off just to show you guys so it doesn't reflect. And that is what it looks like. And see how nice and neutral that is? So she can make a very light to a darker smoky eye. I don't know what she has in mind, but and this might not work for her, but it'll give her a chance to play with it. So if you are looking for a neutral palette, this is absolutely one of my favorites. There's this one and there's the Soft Glam. They're not the same, but they're very much the same. The difference is I find this one to lean cooler and the Soft Glam to lean warmer. So you guys know I own them both, but I reach for this one way more than the other one because it does lean cooler. And the paperwork says the range of neutrals to berries in matte and metallic finishes all have Chloe's stamp of approval, but you don't need to be a pro to use them. They're easy to blend and highly pigmented and they have a $45 value. And I think that's true. I think they blend really, you guys know, I'm not a makeup artist. So I find that they blend really, really easily. So I like that. All right guys, so that is my May Ipsy Glam Bag X. And this one was curated with Khloe Kardashian and I liked it. I don't know that I loved it as much as I did the February one, but here's the thing. The February one had that Huda Rose Gold palette and I was so looking forward to that that I think anything else in that box, it was extra. I just, that palette paid for the box, kind of like this almost pays for the box. So if you don't have this and you chose it, it darn near pays for your box. It's a great palette. I like that they put it in there. I think it's interesting because it's gotta be. I mean, mine, I don't wanna talk about how old mine is. I would be surprised if this wasn't at least a five-year-old palette. I mean, not this one particularly. Boy, I hope they made new ones. But you know what I mean? That It's a palette that's been out there for five years. That's how good the colors are though. My box had a $357 value and I chose the Modern Renaissance palette, the Olaplex, number zero, and the Manny Me nail polishes. And they chose for me the Herbivore Prism, which is all of those AHAs and BHAs, the 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster, this really pretty MAC Lippy, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blonde Eyebrow, but I'm gonna try and make that work, and then the Complex Culture Gua Sha. $357 in value. So let me know below, would you have been happy to receive this box? What do you think for the second month out? Do you get it? Were you happy with it too? I think that the only change that we've seen, and I'm going out on a limb here, this is just me spouting opinions. Are you ready? I think the only change that we've really seen occur since Ipsy and Boxy were under the same umbrella, became owned by the same people, I think one of the only changes that we've seen occur is I think that Ipsy has embraced Boxy's spoiler technique. You know, BoxyCharm, you can watch all of their spoilers and get so excited, and then you open your box and you don't have anything they've been spoiling. That's not really been the case usually with Ipsy. Usually if Ipsy does some spoilers for their big products that are gonna be in their boxes, you're probably gonna get one of them. I think that now that they're under the same umbrella, one of the things that was spoiled for this box was the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and a lot of people wanted it and very, very few people got it. And I don't know, I didn't have the choice to choose it. I don't think many people did. So I think that they're falling into that spoiler category. Don't get me wrong, I love both boxes. I have every box offered by both of the companies. I always get my money's worth, I love them. But you can't get wrapped up in spoilers because you're going to see something in spoilers that you're going to want and you're not going to get. It's going to happen. And we're seeing that a little more with Ipsy now that that and Boxy. Let me know below if you've noticed this too. All right. Thanks so much for coming by, guys. Again, if you have any interest in the Ipsy Glam Bag, I will put my link below. I hope you have a fantastic day. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. And I'll see you really soon. Bye, guys.